Hey guys, it's Ashley again, and I'm here fixing my mess of a head because I have to go to work and I have to be there in 45 minutes and it's raining, so good. I love having short hair, you guys, but like, seriously, anyway, the lighting sucks. My face looks like banana yellow. I'm really sorry. I'm also filming on my phone because I got this new, um... What's it called? Thing that you can hook to a mirror or a window, like a car mount, but I have it hooked on my bathroom mirror because it's easier than trying to put my tripod and my T6 in here. Heard that name drop? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. <gasps> I got plastic on my flat iron. Oh my god, you guys see it? Bleh. It's hot. I don't know how to get it off. I feel like that girl, you guys know that girl that did that um, video where she was trying to curl her hair on the wand and it curled her hair right off? That's how I'm feeling right now. Like I curled my hair right off. This iron cost me a lot of money, you guys. I don't want to screw it up. But anyway, it is raining outside. It's actually storming really bad. At like 4 o'clock this morning, it was storming so bad that we had to... Well, I woke up. It woke up my husband and I both. And he went and checked on our daughters. And, you know, I tried to go back to sleep. But the thunder and lightning was just ridiculous. Oh, oh my gosh, it was so bad. It sounded like it was striking, like, right into my front yard. It was, it was terrible. So I could not go back to sleep. So we went. Well, I asked him. You know, he went and... Got my girls and the four of us slept in my king bed from 4 till around 10 this morning. It was crazy. I'm scared of rain and I'm going to tell you guys why. I uh, Right after my oldest daughter was born, this is the main reason I even started this video anyway, but right after my oldest daughter was born, she well, she was maybe like 8 months old or something, but she was at my mom's house while... We were working and I had gotten off and it was around probably 11.30. I was working in like a bar and pub as a server and bar and pub, that's redundant. But anyway, I was working and it was storming and we were living in New Orleans and you know, the rain gets really bad there being that it's under the sea level and all that. Below sea level, under the sea, under the sea under the sea so yeah i was driving on the west bank expressway the elevated expressway which is a bridge highway you know whatever you want to call it interstate but it's called the west bank expressway on the west bank of the river the mississippi river in new orleans okay if you know about new orleans you know what i'm talking about so i was driving on the highest part and no no i was driving towards the highest part and I'm telling you, it was storming, y'all. Like, I hate driving in the rain already because it terrifies me to hydroplane. But I was going, the speed limit there is 60, and I was going like 50 max because I'm scared to drive in the rain. So I was going slow, and all of a sudden, my car, I could feel it like hydroplaning. Like, it's like, you know, my ring is messed up. But it starts hydroplaning, and I panicked. I was 21, and no, I was 20, actually. Woo. I was 20 years old, and I wasn't really, I guess, educated on what to do if your car hydroplanes. I know that that's part of your training, but I just, I wasn't. I didn't, I panicked, and when I panicked, my mind blanks. But I held on to the steering wheel and my car immediately, I spun like three times. And thank God nobody was around. It was that late at night and I was by myself. I was on my way to go get my daughter. And it hit the side of the bridge. And when it did it, like the guardrails, you know, that's super high and there's a guardrail. And my car spins and then hits the side and does this. Like this. Okay, you guys. And God, my face looks so crazy 
It looks such so different. It doesn't in person. I don't know why it does so much on this. I guess it's my phone or my lighting or whatever. But yeah, so I hit the side. My car pops up and falls back down, and I felt all of this. My both airbags deployed, and I was the only one in my car. Both of my airbags deployed, and the car that was behind me stopped. You know, well, he wasn't directly behind me, but he pulled the, a guy pulled up behind me and jumps out of the car and comes running over to me. My car was trash. There was smoke coming out of the front end, the motor area. It was it was bad, y'all. And he goes, oh my God, are you okay? And I was panicking. I'm crying. You know, I'm shaking. I'm puking. And he goes, I just knew you were going over. And I was like, why would you tell me that? You know? And it I was so scared. So, of course, that just made me hyperventilate even worse. And, oh, that's probably one of my scariest car stories that I've ever been in. Like, car wrecks, you know? I was in a wreck when I was younger, but that was, like, my first driving accident, you know, that serious. I had never hit anything or anyone prior to this. I had never backed into anything I, I, it was I was terrified so of course we call the police because I have to have a report you know and they need to make sure I'm okay or at least that's what the guy said um, I know that's what you're supposed to do so that's what we did so the police come and good old Jefferson Parish police um, and I'm not against police by any means you guys it just this situation just irritated me. So he looks in my car, he asks me if I need an ambulance, and I didn't feel as though I did. I was just trying to hurry up and get home to my daughter so I could pick her up and go home, which of course isn't happening at this point. So I did not need a an ambulance, I did not need an ambulance, and I told him, you know, I don't feel as though I need an ambulance. I feel fine physically, mentally. I was distraught, but physically I wasn't hurt. My hand hurt really bad because it did smash the window, you know, and my car hit. I kind of let go and like, and the airbag deployed. And But that's the only thing I could say. You guys see the damage in my hair from when I bleached it? I just chopped so much. It was down to here. And I cut it this short so that some of this... Because it was, it was a little longer on top too, but it didn't match because my hair had just keeps breaking because of how bad it's damaged. I know heat's not good for it. Please don't tell me that. I know. I know. But you guys saw what my hair looked like prior. So anyway, I, I tell the police officer, you know, I don't think that I need an ambulance. I'm physically okay. I'm mentally upset, but I just want to go home to my daughter. I want to go to my mom. I need to talk to my mom. I'm crying. You know, and the guy offers to take me to my mom's house. No, actually, I drove my car there, but he followed me to make sure that it made it, I think, is how it happened. Um, but the police officer, he's like, so uh, how fast were you going on this, on when this happened? And I told him, you know, I had to be going 48, 52, somewhere between 48 and 52. No faster than 52, but probably not any slower than 45, 48. And um, he was like, well, I'm going to go ahead and give you a ticket for, I think it was reckless driving or something like that. And I'm like, what? You know, what? And he's like, yeah, under these conditions, you should have been driving under 40. And, I mean, I understand I should have probably driven slower, but what? You know, like, if I would have gone to the hospital, if I would have been injured or, you know, would he have still given me a ticket if I would have been injured? This, by the way, is B BB Bumble and Bumble Thickening Dry Spun Finish Spray. And it's like a texturizer, I think, but that's what it, the directions basically say. So that's how I use it. My hair is so oily. And I'm also going to put some dry shampoo in my hair. But yeah, so it was raining really bad. I wrecked my car, my very first ever car wreck. And ever since then, and this guys is bumble and bumble hair powder and brownish is the color so yeah ever since then I am terrified to drive in the rain I'm trying to make sure I'm not coloring that 
background. <laughs> so yeah, I'm terrified to drive in the rain, y'all. It 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 scares me. It scares me a lot. And I now am about to have to go and get into my car and drive to my job, which is only about 15 minutes away under good conditions, but it's raining, so it's probably going to take me a little longer. But last time it rained like this, they called me and told me not to come in. But they haven't called me yet, and I was going to just call them and tell them, you know, I, I don't really want to come in. I'm scared to drive in the rain because I really am. Like, I, I panic, and I also panic even worse when other people drive me in the rain. I guess because it's the lack of control, like I don't have control over the wheel, which, you know, what you would think that it would make me feel safer, but it doesn't. The only person I really feel safe driving me in the rain is my husband, and even then, you know, he, he's so confident in the rain that it scares me, so I'm a basket case when I'm driving with or riding with him in the rain. I'm like, slow down, stop it, slow down, stop it. No, 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 I can't help myself, you guys. So yeah, he's the only one I really trust, but then again, you know, I, I just don't. I'm so scared. I don't know how to wear my hair. Probably just gonna tease it, which I also know damages it, but you know, let's make bad decisions. Bad decisions? I'm a Scorpio, you guys, so it's okay. I'm just kidding. I mean, I am a Scorpio, and I do live up to the characteristics of that, but whatever. I love this shirt. This is my favorite night shirt, and it is almost 4.30, and I'm still in my night shirt. I really gotta get ready for work. I did all my makeup, though, obviously. You can see that. If you guys want a tutorial, a tutorial on it, well, let me know. I feel like this should be my thumbnail. Just kidding. <laughs> love my hair short it's just I want it to grow but I want it to grow healthy and I'm really sorry if I'm looking I'm using my phone as a mirror it's really difficult to look past it you know the phone's like right here my mirror is right right there but whatever I feel like I look like a beetle today like one of the beetles like we all live in a yellow submarine Yellow submarine, yellow submarine. You guys know that song? I bet you didn't think I knew that song. I told you guys I used to be in choir. No, I didn't. I cut that part out of the video. Oh. I used to be in choir in middle school and high school, and we used to sing Beatles songs. Hey, Jude. I think that's a Beatles song. Don't mind my voice, though. I'm not a singer. I only did choir because I didn't want to do band. Let me find a ponytail holder. I think I'm going to put my hair in pigtails on, like, small ones on the side. I really need to hurry up, though, because I'm going to be late. Story of my life. I have a song for every situation, mostly. If I am in a situation and it reminds me of lyrics to a song, I sing it. If you haven't noticed already. I lost my ponytail. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. Oh, cute. I look like a little girl. This is why people think I'm 19 years old. Because my voice is 19 years old. Actually, my voice is like five. I'm sorry. I know I have a super high voice, super baby voice. People always call my phone like, can I speak with the mother? I'm like, I am the mother. Thanks. When I was like 18 or 19 I was at my mom's house and I answered the phone when her house phone back when people used to have house phones um I answered and the guy the guy was like um I need to speak with the mother with your mom please and I told him I was like well she's not available right now and she was home actually but she didn't you know want to talk to this guy I don't know who it was but um the guy was like well, how old are you? You don't sound old enough to be home by yourself. And I was like, excuse me, but I'm pretty sure that's none of your business how old I am. And he's like, well, I know the mother, your mother is home. I need to speak with her. And I was like, my mom is not here. And it's really creepy for you to ask me how old I am and to assume that I'm a child. And that makes me kind of, you know, feel like he was kind of creepy. And I said that and he hung up on me. 
and then called back like 20 minutes later. And the person he and the person he was trying to talk to, oh my camera so rudely cut off, wasn't even my mom. He had the wrong number. He was calling for a whole different person. But sitting there arguing with me, this is cute. Arguing with me, telling me that I wasn't old enough to be home by myself, that I sounded like I was 11. And I mean, first of all, that's not your decision, right? That's not this guy's decision whether I'm old enough to be home by myself or not. Second of all, it's really creepy for a telemarketer or whatever he was to be calling and asking who he thinks is a little girl how old she is when she's already made it clear that her parents are not available. So, pedophile much? But anyways, you guys, I hate saying anyway in my video, but I say it so much that it just pops out. And I sometimes I edit it out, but it just drives me nuts when I say it. Even now, since I've been filming, even when I'm speaking, like not filming, speaking, and I hear myself say anyway, I'm like, oh, so anyway, anyway, anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna put my earrings in. I'm going to put well get dressed and then I'm gonna go to work I hope you guys enjoy this video sorry if it's super long sorry if it's not long enough and thanks for watching and thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed to me recently and helped me get my goal of 50 by the midnight yesterday and my new goal is to get to 100 by the end of this week I mean I would love to get to like 150 but I'm gonna be realistic and do my best in getting to 100. I hope you guys have a really good day, and I hope the weather where you are is beautiful and sunny, and hopefully, you guys, I don't have a panic attack on the way to work. Wish me luck, guys. All right? Bye, y'all. Love you.